So let me give you another personal example. And again, consent, don't worry, no issues of HIPAA. My wife was diagnosed with stage 3A breast cancer in December of 2011. Uh, the genomics of her tumor were HER2 negative, estrogen positive, progesterone positive, and at the time she was a 50-year-old Asian female. Now, wouldn't it be interesting to say of the last 10,000 Asian females with a tumor like this, how were they treated? What was the outcome? Did they get sicker? Did they get well? What were the side effects? What, you know, and then say, hmm, I will ensure that she gets the medicine that seemed to provide the best outcome for 10,000 people like her. That is what we call a learning healthcare system. As opposed to today's healthcare system, it takes, on average, 20 years for an innovation from one hospital to diffuse throughout the country. We were able, with my wife, to take all the data at all the Harvard hospitals and do the query and find the medications would be most effective for her, and she's totally cured and everything is fine. So that's sort of a big data, though I'm not sure what big data is. We have three petabytes, it's not that big. Uh, example this, this of- This much data is big data. It's there you go. <laughs> yeah. We were able to treat her optimally using that kind of analytic across multiple institutional data sources. Mm -hmm.